Hello, you guys. Can you believe what has transpired the last few days? I have never in my wildest, wildest dreams would have ever expected this to have happened. This was not on my bingo card that Lana Del Rey watches my vlogs. I have so much to say about this. I want to tell you guys my POV and my perspective on everything and just kind of walk you guys through everything because I feel like this is so important to share. First and foremost, I have been a fan of Lana Del Rey since like 2010, 2012. I started becoming like a major fan of her artistry, her videos, her lyrics. I genuinely think she is the best songwriter of our generation. She writes her own music. She's like a true artist. And I just respect her so much. Not only do I love her music, I just have such a level of respect for her artistry that is just next levels. And I really just like read the lyrics and try to understand them. I'm not like, a typical fan that kind of just like listens and doesn't like absorb the art of it all. I really try to like understand and she has always been my number one favorite artist. We went to the Billboard Women in Music award show and the reason we wanted to go was because Lana Del Rey was being honored. So I wanted to see her be honored with the Visionary Award. And also Twice was performing, who is one of Remy's favorite K-pop groups. So it was like the perfect storm for us. We went last year. So then we asked again if we were able to attend again. And they said, yes, obviously we get there. We go to the carpet. Immediately at the carpet, they're like holding everyone's name. So people know who they're taking photos of. And then we go through the carpet. And then as soon as we're out of the carpet, this like whole area to our seats so it, it's like this little like circular area as people are coming off the carpet they go through and then they immediately go backstage if they're part of the show if they're influencers or other like talent that isn't part of the show they walk into like that dome area we were in and then they go to their seat but anyone invited to the show I'm assuming they just go straight backstage if that makes sense our billboard contact was like oh by the way Remy Weiss is on the carpet right now and I know like you want to see them so she was totally freaking out and she wanted to see them from afar so our contact was like hey you guys just so you know for your content and whatever like you guys can like stay around this area and you guys could probably get like clips of them being escorted backstage and that's like kind of cool for like your video and then we were like oh my god like thank you so much like everyone at billboard was so kind and nice okay so basically we're waiting 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 and we wait like a long time and then twice finally comes Remy was too scared to say hi which was hilarious and honestly mood we did get like a video of them like walking past and then I was like oh my god like I wonder if Lana's gonna come on the carpet anytime soon our contact was like yeah like she's gonna come on the carpet she's scheduled to at least but like obviously like we never for sure know. So essentially we waited in that area for a while. Eventually the carpet closed at 6.30 and it seemed like that she wasn't coming. Maybe was gonna do the carpet at like a completely different time. Like we just don't know. So then Remy and Alicia were like, hey, like let's get to our seats because they're like announcing to get to our seats. I was like totally fine with it. I just wanted to get like a glimpse of her just going backstage. I've been to a lot of her concerts and stuff like that and I've never seen her up close and I knew like the whole point was for us to go see her receive her award so I was just excited in general to see that so then we're like going to our seats and then I see there's like a display of her and then I got really excited so I didn't ask for any photos all day and I was like hey guys like can I get a quick photo with this like I want to post this because this is kind of cool and then we were taking pictures and then for some of the pictures I like frowned to be funny because I was like oh I'm sad like I didn't get to see her like up close but like I don't know I was just being silly so we got like those photos and then I was like oh like I'm so excited to see like her get her award so we're making our way to our seats and then we actually went to the complete wrong area which was honestly a miracle in retrospect and so we started walking back and then I noticed people started like kind of running toward where we were and then in my head I'm like they kind of look like Lana fans because Lana fans have a certain look to them I don't know I just was like hmm like I think they're Lana fans and for some reason I feel like she's here. Alicia was like you should check Twitter because obviously her stands are gonna post like her red carpet photos and stuff if she's here like instantly. I was like oh my god that's so genius like. So I type in Lana I'm like scrolling Twitter and then I refresh once and boom trillions of red carpet photos on Twitter and then I'm like Alicia she's here 
And Alicia looks at me and says, run. <laughs> it was so funny. And then so we start like jetting towards where we were. And then I was super, super, super nervous. I am a person who never asked for a photo and never fangirls like that. But I was like, damn, like I've been a fan of hers for 10 plus years. I don't have a photo, like nothing. Like this photo would mean so much to me. I'm going to be bold and ask for a photo. I'm never bold, never bold and never bold enough to ask for a photo. So this could have gone so like badly. Alicia was like, yes, ask for a photo, but have your phone on, have it ready to go. Like walk and talk vibes. Like the second she's in be like Lana I love you can I get a photo don't tell your life story like just immediately get a photo and keep it pushing I was like genius it's gonna be like a two second interaction because she's getting honored tonight like it's her night and I also made it a point to say if I do not get a photo with her I'm not gonna be upset at all she's is so busy I'm sure this is a highly stressful night for her like I'm not gonna be like triggered in the least if she says no or if she's like just rushing in the back so we're waiting for her and then Alicia's describing me to to her because I didn't have my glasses on so I couldn't see. So Alicia's like, she's wearing this beautiful dress and her hair and her makeup is so beautiful. She's like describing everything to me. So then finally she's at security and she's going through and as she's going through security, Alicia notices that a lot of people are asking her for photos and taking photos with her. So then Alicia gets excited for me. She's like, I think you have a good chance of getting a photo because she's taking photos with everyone. Because I didn't think I was gonna get a photo. I was kind of like, yeah, but I'm not gonna expect a photo because obviously the second she's in this like room, she needs to be rushed backstage. So I'm not going to be upset if I don't get a photo. Like, no biggie. I started mentally preparing myself to ask. Like, I was like ready. I was like, err, like, I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask. I'm going to be bold for once in my life. Like, I never asked for anything. Like, I'm going to ask. And then I got up and then I was like ready to ask for the photo. So then she's going through security and then uh, they open the door for her and then she kind of like jolt and is like looking at me and then she points at me. And she says, Ollie? I, what went through my head was, there's no way she's talking to me. She has me confused for someone else. Like maybe she knows like another fan that I look like. I don't know. There's a million things going through my head, but I was like, there's no way. She comes to me and holds my hands and says, I watch you every day. I have no words to describe how I felt in that moment. I've never felt so validated in my life, but I also fully lost my shit and I didn't even know what I was saying at that point because it was just so shocking. Like I felt like I was in a dream. Didn't even like could get words out to talk to her because it was just so unbelievable. And she's like, Ollie, like I watch you every day. I watch you and Remy. And as soon as she said Remy, I knew she was talking to me and she knew me and she knew my videos. And in that moment, like I felt so validated because as you guys know, I've always been like a behind the scenes person. Like I never made content of my own. I've been friends with YouTubers for like over 10 years and I've just recently started my channel. I've always been like background and marketing and business and like the analytics of it all. And I've never put myself out there. It's always been so hard for me to be vulnerable and put myself out there. The biggest reason I started my channel in COVID was because I felt so alone and when I posted my vlog and I got so many comments of you guys saying like my vlogs like made you feel calm and they like reduce your anxiety and like you guys like think I'm so funny and it like kind of made you forget about your day that's like when I truly felt like I had a purpose I made it my mission even though I had such a like intense nine to five job to try to get these videos out if I could just even like touch one person's life in that way like it was all worth it to me even if I got one comment hey like this video made my day it was all worth it to me so the fact that like she said that to me was so validating it just like proved to me also to myself because i'm a person who doubts myself so much even in my videos like i very much like hide behind my friends and i kind of like hide myself in the background sometimes and i do really struggle with like putting myself out there like even like posting photos of myself on instagram and it was just like so crazy that she watches my videos it just like completely validated my purpose and it made me feel like this is like a big sign 
from the universe that I need to put myself out there and be more vulnerable and share more of myself and my story and my journey and just more of me. Also, like, it just made me feel like I need to pour in my heart and soul into YouTube and, like, this is really my passion and I love it so much and I love sharing with you guys. It, it's just crazy to think that, like, Lana watches the vlogs. So I just kept saying, no effing way, like, you're lying, you're lying, because I there was the self-doubt coming out again. Like, I couldn't believe it was possible for my number one favorite artist in the world, artist, to be watching, like, something that I make just sharing my life, you know, and my memories. And it, it was just like such a surreal moment. And then she like completely validated us. She was like telling us like very specific things from each of our vlogs. She immediately like, as soon as she said Remy's name, I had to share the moment with her. Like I immediately said, oh my God, Remy's right here. We were just all fangirling over each other. And then she was telling us that, you know, like Remy just had her yacht party. And then also that she was gonna DM us when Remy gifted me these Lana Del Rey shoes for Christmas but she didn't want to jinx it or be weird or like assume anything. She like decided not to. It's just like so crazy validating like how much she watches our videos and she was like quoting specific things and like big life changes that happened to us. And then eventually she mentioned Alicia and she was just like, oh, and then Alicia and like bangs on fleek, like stuff like that. So I was like, oh my God, Alicia's right here. And then she had such a um, reaction to Alicia as well. And it was just such a heartwarming experience and such like a friendship bonding moment that brought us together even more than I could have possibly imagined. And then she let us know that she was gonna DM us. That's when we left. So I'm gonna add in like all the clips here. Oh, oh my God, get a photo. Oh, oh my God, stop. God. She, stop. No. You know, I watch you every day. Shut, Shut up. the fuck up. Shut up. I watch you and Remy every day. Remy? Oh my God, you're lying. Okay. You're lying. <laughs> Remy, what stop. the fuck? Stop. You're lying to me. 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 And then all of a sudden, for Vlogmas, <laughs> Ollie's like wearing like my eyes yes. with LBR. And I'm like, oh, weird. I'm not going to say anything because like, I'm not going to jinx what I love. Stop. Stop. And, then, and then suddenly you got the Vans, but you got the Ariel ones, but you got the mine ones. So I was like, fuck, like, now I can't tell like, me that like, I really love her because like, oh, the like, Vans. She's like, you're on a sunny side. And I'm like, this I'm just like, crazy dark side. Thing. I'm Am fucking crazy. Are you guys matching? Stop then, it. Oh, yeah. And then when I ran out of friendly videos, I started watching all these sides. Oh, but we should. <laughs> <laughs> You're not. So I pretty much know everything about you. Well, Thanks, on <laughs> I know it's sad, really. So nice to okay. No, we love you. Really he needs a photo. You don't see yeah, he needs it. a photo. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, we love you. Honestly, yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> Oh my god. I was like, 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 you I guys. was like, is this really you happening guys. right now? You guys. You, mean? you guys. Okay. You we guys. gotta run. We gotta see. We you gotta guys. go. They're gonna close the door. You guys. Oh my god. Is no. it, is it, is it next one? Wait, I can't believe that. You guys, I knew it. I knew she watches us. I knew it. I, oh she my god. She said that the bangs are banging. I'm so glad I got to meet the vloggers who got me through COVID. <gasps> Remy Ashton, Ollie, and Alicia Marie. <gasps> Shut the fuck up! Oh, oh my, my god, god, stop! stop. She, no, you know, we, I watch you every day. Shut, Shut up, fuck up. Shut up. I watch you and Remy every day. I'm so glad I got to meet the vloggers who got me through COVID. Remy Ashton, Ali, and Alicia Marie. Thank you. Ashton, <laughs> Ali, and Alicia Marie. Oh, 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 <laughs> She did not just 
thing because in her fucking <laughs> I'm about to meet Miss Lana Del Rey. No, I'm, I'm scared. Like, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Hi! Oh my, oh my god. god! Stop, you know me. I watch you every day. Shut up! Oh Shut up! I watch you and Remy every day. As soon as that was over, it was so surreal, unbelievable almost. And then we go sit down and obviously like we didn't bring it up or anything. And we were just all kind of like digesting. So then I go, hey guys, I would really appreciate it if you guys did not post this online. And then I was like, I really want this like moment to be like personal and private to me. And like, I kind of don't want to share this because it was just such a wow moment for me. And like, it meant so much to me. And like, I would really appreciate it if you guys didn't post. And Remy and Alicia were super respectful and were totally like, oh my God, yes. Like totally like, no worries. Like, I can't believe that happened to you. We're so happy for you. Like Remy was literally like sobbing for me. So then we're watching the show. Every time Lana came on the screen, we would scream. And then when it was time for her speech, we were like recording with our phones, like getting every word. And we were like cheering for her so much. And then she decides to thank us in her speech. First of all, she did not have to do that but it just shows what kind of person she is, the humility, the respect, and the humbleness of Lana Del Rey. She could have easily also just said like the vloggers I met, like she did not need to name us, but to name us on such a huge platform, it, it just shows so much of her character and her heart and just how authentic she is. And to like thank us in such a way was just shocking. Obviously we fell to the floor because it was just so unbelievable. I'm still shook and so honored to all be credited and to all like know like our videos mean something because we all have those times where we really doubt ourselves and even especially Remy. Remy is just like me, like she doubts herself all the time and it was so special for me to know that she was being validated as well in such a special way. I just want to just tell you guys that thinking positively and manifestation is real. Things can happen for you, like changing your mindset and really putting your energy into things is so real like this is probably one of the biggest manifestations to have like my favorite artist tell us that she watches us like that is just so next level I did have a clip from that morning where I was getting ready and I was telling Alicia, imagine she like watches us and I had no audio on that clip so I can't even like put that clip in. But I did text her at like 10 a.m. and I said the same thing after, oh my God, imagine, oh my God, imagine. What you imagine can become reality. I just want everyone watching this video and to really feel it in their soul and spirit. Like you can achieve your dreams, you can achieve things in your life and you can manifest anything you want. You really truly can and like I hope this kind of sh like serves as like a testament like nothing is impossible like this whole situation is impossible like, one of the biggest artists in the world watches my vlogs like that enough should be a testament for you guys to like think big and dream big because if it can happen for me it can happen for you guys and this definitely also happened for me to share a message with you guys that your dreams really can come true and you have to have this like undoubtable belief in yourself and I truly will never doubt myself again because I've always been a person who constantly doubt myself like all the time like even even with my channel like I doubt myself I doubt my videos all the time like I was just constantly posting weekend vlogs just like silly things and like not really pouring myself into it and sharing me and now I feel like I'm so fully ready to just fully pour into this channel and really pour into you guys and this has truly like made me more confident in myself I really don't want to get emotional. I just want to thank you guys so much because obviously if you guys didn't care about me, if you guys didn't watch me, like I wouldn't even be on the radar of anyone. And I'm so grateful for Remy and Alicia for putting me on their platform and giving me a voice. And I just feel like it's totally time for me to use my voice and like create videos that I'm proud of and continue sharing and not be afraid so much and not doubt myself so much and be in my head about my videos. It would mean the world to me if you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I am so ready beyond ready to just pour into this channel and just give you guys my whole heart and just share my life and 
a way I've never shared it before. Anyone who has recently subscribed from the speech or just social media in general, I wanna say, hey, I kind of just make content sharing my life, my memories, my internal dialogue. And I always wanna be a creator that doesn't make people feel bad after watching their videos. One thing I've always hated about like the influencer slash creator culture is when I watch people's videos and I just like feel like shit about myself. I always keep it real and authentic on my channel. And if you guys like go through and watch any of my videos, it's just sharing real life, you know? I just truly wanna thank Lana for what she did and immense gratitude I have for her as an artist, as a person. And I'm just so happy that we can even give you like five seconds of relaxation because your music affects so many lives and millions and millions of people and truly your words heal the world. So the fact that our silly little vlogs can even provide you like a second of peace in your life is so validating and just makes me so happy. And obviously I wanna thank Remy and Alicia and most importantly, I wanna thank you guys that watch my channel and support me. So thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.